Hello all, I'm York and I thought it's time I uh, give you a little bit insight on uh, what I manufacture for oxalic acid vaporizing. I started out several years ago with a pan type vaporizer. You all know them probably, it has a, have a little uh, diesel engine uh, glow plug in it, this one has two. So it's a very powerful unit and it uh, evaporates in probably about three quarter minute uh, load for two root boxes. I did use this for a year but I was not too happy with it. Uh, you have a lot of bees that die in it, uh, get fried on them and uh, also sometimes you get wax dripping in and to my opinion it's a mess. So uh, I discontinued this one, put it away. Then uh, I started building this one. That was my prototype uh, a couple of years ago. It has a pit controller where you set the temperature. The pit controller is connected with a thermocouple to the bottom of the bowl. You have a heat element, electric heat element with 110 voltage and 300 watt. And it heats the bowl up to the set temperature which for me is 204 degrees Celsius equivalent to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So in order to, uh, for the vapor, vapor not to escape we're gonna put a plug on, like this one. This is a silicone plug that I drilled out to uh, hold the load of oxalic acid. This goes on and then it vaporizes. The way I do it, you fill this up with the needed uh, amount of uh, oxalic acid. For me that is normally around um, 3 gram or half a teaspoon. So I put it on my uh, hive, fill it up go with my vaporizer, put it on slightly. I treat from the side. I will show that later on. So I go in the side, put it in, turn it around and the way it goes. Now this prototype worked well, but as you can see, everything ex is exposed. So it's not very uh, safe for the user uh, and it's nothing that you want to sell on the market. So the next one we produced was this one, but the same way as this with the tube in the middle. This one is an upgrade from that already. It has a laser cut housing, all welded, the handle is insulated, everything is covered and uh, grounded. It has a switch on the controller side. The switch only controls the heat element. So if this one is not lit, it means it's not heating. What you can do then is you can set the temperature or other parameters on the pit without having the bowl heating which helps uh, in the setup procedures. Now if this ever does not light and you have it in on position it could be that you are using only two prongs on your power and not the ground plug, the ground prong. I had this happen and I was wondering why the light didn't burn and that was the reason. So if you don't see the light on, check your cables that you have all three lines connected properly and that everything is safe. It will work without the light being on and in on position for the simple reason the light grounds to the chassis and it takes a small amount to go and light the LED. Anyway, uh, that was about it for this. So I normally treat from the end, from the back end of the hive. And I will disclose that in a second video.